it's been said before, it's not an earth-shattering, ass-quaking revelation, but you can buy guns at Walmart, but not buy graders. Because Walmart is family-friendly. It's friendly to kill animals and people, or just scare them a little bit. Scare them enough to keep them off the plastic flamingo fabric slime. The vibrators are a dangerous perversion. Vibrators, butt plugs, watermelon blue, fuzzy handcuffs, bondage collars, rainbow unicorn dildos. Keep that shit in Satan's basement where it belongs. If I were more ambitious, perhaps I'd be a stand-up comic or a crusader of some kind. But I'm lazy, so I blog and play with paint and publish my little books. It's all good in the clitoral hood. Keep America safe. Stock up on great value toilet tissue and guns. Not trending. My pubic hairs ain't trending. Tender buttons ain't trending. The bitchy phone call I just made to Slate, that's a credit card, not trending. People who buy their groceries at Family Dollar, not trending. People who have never eaten Bleak yogurt, not trending. The plastic cowboys and Indians, Native Americans. I drown on canvas with swirls of acrylic paint, not trending. The 30 pounds I gained from stress eating at UTSA, not trending. The Nutella and green tea diet, not trending. The guy who sent me a Facebook message years ago asking me to please delete the books we had collaborated on because he was embarrassed by them, not trending. The psycho bitch who has been stalking me for years while playing Candy Crush and pretending to be a shut-in genius, not trending. The animals my dad has killed in Africa and used for interior decor in his McMansion, not trending. Family members who spy on me online and pretend to like me once or twice a year, not trending. Captain Kangaroo ain't trending. Buzz Crenshaw ain't trending. Randy Trahan ain't trending. Seymour, Texas ain't trending. Bullshit Rodeo ain't trending. Fucker Butt Happy Time ain't trending. Trailer Trash in Prison ain't trending. Raped, but dropped the charges because love, not trending. Capricorn Man Aquarius Woman, not trending. Karaoke Bar on South Padre Island, not trending. San Antonio Vice Cop with a love for Oscar Wilde, not trending. Allen Ginsberg's asshole, not trending. Award-winning potato salad recipe, probably trending, but who has time for mustard? No mas palabras. Words are chupacabra, slobber me amor. No mas palabras. Throw pebbles at my ventana some sabado when the moon is in Scorpio and all the numbers in your phone have melted into Crayola puddles you cannot use, not even in a half-assed, half-drunk assemblage. There isn't much between us, dirty laundry and broken dishes. Last night's rain on the blue bonnets informed my allergy pill dreams of you fucking me in the dark, which is how you liked it best, because in the light I'm much less possible. So good, you said. I heard you loud and clear all the way to Helotus. Bueno is even better, and I am the wettest witch you ever spilled across Texas. Bruja Blanca, Gringa Loca, token consolation prize. Another carnival has come to Taco Town, and my heart is morado, negro, azul. Still tick-tocking past midnight, despite the dull, dirty knocking. I'm not selling anything. Nothing left alone. Words are rocks sewn inside a wolf's black stomach before he's thrown into the lake. To drown. To make. A safer world. Do 
you envy your friends, you should do something about that shit. Become friends with people who have an orgasm since 1967. Become friends with people whose Facebook profile pictures are of broccoli and tampons. No one envies broccoli. No one envies tampons. Become friends with people who are runaways from Ronald McDonald House. Become friends with people who will kiss your toes in gratitude when you give them the fortune from your cookie. I met a chick on a Greyhound bus, Reno to Las Vegas, who was dying of some disease I cannot spell or pronounce. She was the best friend I've ever had. Kardashian Vaughn. Someone is watching this. Kardashians continue. I watch in my donut pajamas, bloated from the kind of cheese you spray from a can. Writing a book is like the most annoying thing ever. Chloe Kardashian writes books, signs books, sells books. She has to fill the hours somehow between big deal boyfriends, cocktails, coffee clatch, cunt crew, cupy doll voodoo, kitten costume selfies, all up in that social media instant gratification flavor. Why do you watch that crap? I have to fill the hour somehow between sloppy, cheap makeup selfies and mad scribble scrabble. It's interesting watching people think up ways to spend millions of dollars. Impromptu trips to Iceland. Housewarming parties with like really expensive candles and DJs and shit. All those kids. All that clutter. I'm curious about how exactly their deaths will be televised. Probably with plenty of killer lighting.